What's up family? Welcome back to our channel and uh, we've just been shopping the whole day so now we're home preparing for our evening meal and we've actually bought quite a lot of stuff. For but, two, well, for, <laughs> for two people I think it's, it's, yeah. it's quite a it's quite a number of stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, we have a little bit of carrot juice over here. So you guys can see, I've been having some very bad eyesight problems lately. And I thought, okay, let me just get something that will give me a keratin boost. Uh, I have a bottle of wine here. That is a Robertson's Winery Chapel Red. And we just like drinking wine. This is a 2021 bottle. We just like to have a little glass of wine from time to time. When we're having supper, you know, it goes really well with a nice lamb chop. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we also bought some juice. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. A bunch of other stuff. We got uh, your nectarines, your blueberries, your grapes, tomatoes, rooibos tea, the whole lot. So, yeah, so my wife now and I... I just gonna go to the kitchen, prepare a meal, and um, catch you on the flip side. Before we can catch you on the flip side, I just wanted to show you guys the weather today. It is a, quite a cold and rainy day. It's quite gloomy today. There's a lot of rain happening. As you can see, the windows are very um, shrouded with rain. If I can just open the window and show you guys, you'll see that it's a very rainy day. And it's a beautiful day and I really love the rain. So what we usually do on days like this, it's a normal um, kind of working day. It's a typical standard Thursday um, afternoon. We usually will come up to the kitchen and uh, yeah, Aaron will make a cup of coffee for himself. Uh, and me, he'll also make me a cup of tea. And I will get started with packing the groceries and obviously just um, getting prepared for dinner. Today's supper will be quite um, a simple meal. I think we're just going to have some lamb chops, sweet potato and broccoli, which is quite a straightforward kind of meal for us. It's a standard meal. Um, and we'll be having it with a little bit of couscous. Couscous, I absolutely love couscous. Um, and I absolutely love um, broccoli. So I'm just going to get started on that and show you guys what ingredients I'm going to be using. I don't think I'm going to show you guys how I cook my meals. <laughs> um, instead, what I'm going to do is just show you, lay it down for you and maybe show you what supper looks like afterwards. Catch you on the flip side. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm just showing you guys a few of the things that I'm going to be using, a few recipes. Here we have some sweet potatoes and basically my husband particularly enjoys sweet potatoes without the skin on. I am a, I'm a skin on kind of girl. I prefer eating my sweet potatoes with a little bit of skin on it. Whereas with him, he just prefers them peeled and basic and all that. So <laughs> that's 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 what he enjoys. Then on this side we've got some broccoli, which I love. I absolutely love broccoli, but you always have to make sure that you thoroughly wash your broccoli in um, warm water um, because sometimes you know there's certain things that get stuck within within the heads. Um, so what I do with my sweet potato is I will s put it in, soak it in some water. And my mom actually taught me this very um, useful hack, which is basically just taking a little bit of vinegar. It can be any kind of vinegar you want, but I prefer using apple cider vinegar. And you will put a squirt or two just to preserve the color of the sweet potato. So just a few squirts of apple cider vinegar, and that will preserve the color of the sweet potato for a long time. It won't turn brown because if you leave your sweet potato out in the open, Without um, having some water and some uh, vinegar soak, what's going to happen is it will start browning and, and when it browns, it doesn't look very good, particularly when you cook it. So here we've got the broccoli and all I'm going to do with this broccoli is just literally put it in our air fryer. Um, I'll start by boiling it first so that I, we don't have too crispy um, uh, broccoli. I'll start by boiling it maybe for like 10 minutes 
and then from there I put it straight into the air fryer. Then this is the piece de resistance. This is lamb and we're going to have two pieces each. I like to spice it with a little bit of rosemary and thyme and um, some other spices which make it taste amazing. So that is basically what a banting dinner looks like. We have a set out plan which we're going to start um, going by and this plan is basically for breakfast, lunch and supper and yeah it's a it's a pretty basic meal. It will take me less than an hour to finish um, because most of the stuff that I'll be doing is just um, putting it on the pot to boil and putting the meat um, inside the air fryer with the, with the broccoli sprouts and that's basically supper for the day. We will be pairing it with our uh, a glass of wine and couscous which couscous is, a, is quite a simple um, recipe to make you just soak your couscous in some hot water and that's that so I will show you guys images I hate I hate I absolutely hate showing people myself cooking and everything because I think that takes away from the whole cooking process but I'll show you guys the final outcome of the meal that I'm about to cook and yeah let me know what you think thanks guys this is the meal that I've prepared for my husband and I. It's a very healthy banting meal. Um, we have here some couscous, some sweet potato, um, lamb chops, and some broccoli. And we're going So after three very good meals uh, that we had, we later discovered that couscous is in fact a uh, non-banting food. If you are familiar with the banting list, you will know that you have your green list items, your orange list items, your light red items, and your red items. And couscous falls at the very end of the spectrum. It is on the red list of items. So I just assumed because it was a grain that was not necessarily the same as rice or brown rice, um, that it would be a healthier, more sustainable option. But um, yeah, looking back and looking at the banting list, I realized this was not the case. So if you are undergoing a keto diet or a banting diet, just know that couscous is not a good alternative. Instead, one can opt for your cauliflower rice or cauliflower couscous, which is a relatively good option. Or just cut out the whole rice alternative altogether and have something like a sweet potato or um, going to be pumpkin. pairing it with this very delicious um, chapel red wine it's by Robertson winery so we are going to now dig in it's been a long day we've had a very productive day today just getting our stuff done and here's the husband bye, <laughs> bye. don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, see you later see you on the flip side bye, bye.